If you are looking for an absolutely free alternative of cursor, this video is for you. Cursor is just an amazing AI code editor, but the only problem is it costs $20 per month. To be honest, if you're a developer and you're using cursor as your AI code editor, it just saves you so much time. And now with new updates, cursor's agentic functionality has got more smart. But most of you maybe just don't want to pay $20 for cursor. So this video is for you. If you want to use all of the cursor like agentic functionalities, but you don't want to pay even a single penny for that. I'm talking about Klein. Klein is an open source Visual Studio Code extension and it's absolutely free to use. There is no cost to use Klein because this is completely free and open source. But the problem will still be to use a large language model to write code for us. And for that, we are going to use Open Router. Open Router is a platform where we can access all of these large language models and some of them are free. We are going to use the best absolutely free large language models with Klein to make VS Code act like cursor. Now, if you have already used client and you know what I'm talking about, you can simply just use any free large language model from open router with client and start development. But if you're an absolutely beginner, this video is for you. And I'm going to share a detailed step-by-step -step guide that how you can set up client, how you can get an API key from open router and how you can add that to client and start using it for absolutely for free. So before I start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button. Our goal for this video is to reach 1000 likes. All right, first thing first, make sure that you have downloaded and installed VS code on your computer. Just go to code visualstudio.com just go to this url and download and install vs code on your computer once visual studio code is installed on your computer simply just open that just simply just open visual studio code make sure that you have downloaded visual studio code not visual studio 2022 or 2019 version you need to download this blue icon vs code then simply just go to extensions tab in here on the left side you'll see this extensions tab in vs code if you cannot see that just simply press control press shift plus X and open this extension tab. Next inside extension search bar, simply just look for C L I N E client and you can see that there is one plugin which is called a Roo code you don't need to install that you just need to install this client plugin simply just click on this install button and client will be automatically then installed locally on your computer next you need to go to this open router.ai this is actually a platform where we can actually access all of these large language models simply just go there log in with google it's absolutely free to log in you are not required to attach any credit card to use the free large language models so once you have done that and you are logged in simply just click on this browse button and let me just show you that what are the best large language models that you should use so once you're on this page we need to look for the free large language models the free ones that are available here so you can simply just look for in here inside filter just look right free and then it will actually list all of these free large language models in here the best one so far that i have actually experienced is this google gemini 2.0 so google gemini 2.0 pro google gemini 2.0 flash all of these large language models are actually absolutely amazing so you can see this cost zero dollars for per million input tokens and per million output tokens this cost absolutely zero dollars and the most important thing the context here is one million which is amazing there is this gemini 2.0 this one is again free to use and this one has two million context so this one is actually better for us to use for our coding purposes again this is absolutely free to use you won't be charged anything to use this any of these large language models but if you look at any of other something like gemini pro 1.5 this will cost you 1.25 dollars per million input tokens and five dollars per million output tokens so this this is actually going to cost you so but all you need you need to look for a free large language model so just simply just look for free and you can actually then keep switching all of these different large language models this is microsoft phi 3 as well this is not really impressive for coding i have tested that not really good then there is meta llama 3.2 Again, I mean, the best one so far, as I recommended you, is Google Gemini Pro. Just use that. There's DeepSea Car 1 as well if you want to use that. So, but yeah, the best one actually that, that you should use, you should just try all of these. But the best one is Gemini 2.0 Flash. All right. So next thing is now you need to create an API key to add in client. So what you need to do, you need to simply just go to back, go back to client. So just open your Visual Studio. And once client is installed on your computer, it will actually just show this icon on the left side. And in here, you can simply just create click on the settings icon and from here you can simply just go to this api provider inside api provider just choose open router so there is this first option which is open router simply just click on that 
once you just click on that after that you need to enter an api key in here so what you can simply just do you can simply just click on get open router api key simply just click on this button or you can simply just directly create an api key inside open router but you can simply just do that so once you do that simply just click on authorize it will ask for authorization simply just click on authorize and now you can just go back to view studio click on open and now you can see it has now like uh, connected open router with here and it has added an api key automatically if you want to like create api key manually you can what you can do simply you can simply just like go to your profile click on keys and you can simply just click on create key here you can name your key and then simply just click on create button and then you can use that key over here and once you have provided your api key now you can actually choose any of these large language models from here you can simply just click on this cross button and then write free in here and then just look for all of the free models that are available in here so there is deepseek r1 which is available for free but let's just look for gemini pro so in here once you write gemini pro you can see there are different gemini models but the ones with free tag in it that one is actually absolutely free to use so you can either use gemini 2.0 flash experimental free either use this one or just look for the gemini pro so just choose your required model and you can see it does support images as well that means you can provide images as an input to give it a reference of a design or something or maybe if you're facing an issue you can just like provide an image so that too is an amazing thing for us then you can simply just click on done and that's it that's what you need to do now you can just like give it a prompt and then like start creating something create a landing page for my website i'm building a habit tracker app create landing page for me so i just gave it a like a very simple prompt you can simply just click on that and now as you can see it will cost you zero dollars to like use it to use this model so now it will actually start writing code speed is good enough for me it has now completed the first task it wants us to like run our project and test the all of the changing that it has made so what i'll do i can just like run this command in my terminal please create this design on this page okay it has created a very basic text on a black page so let's just give it a reference image so i've just like selected an image in here you can just provide any image design and then let's just ask it to like create this design just like this image please see the attached image and create design as the attached image so let's just see like how it responds i mean because we are now attaching an image and let's just see like how it responds all right so it is creating now code perfect it is sending another api request all right so perfect is just updating this main page.tsx file that's amazing I, I really like the speed i mean this is not slow at all i know we are using the free version but this is absolutely absolutely amazing i mean you can build just like in cursor this client is good enough the agenting functionalities of client are good enough not like cursor not exactly like cursor but client has actually recently introduced some updates and it's that is good enough so now it is just like updating our main page.tsx file and writing a very long code file which is amazing and you can see we faced no issues it did not stop in the middle it is now like completing the finishing or the complete prompt which is amazing because most of the times whenever we are using a free large language model so it has a very small very short context window but google gemini pro is amazing okay so now it has created this basic design it has created all of this code as well on page.tsx file and again you can see this api cost is zero absolutely zero we are not charged anything for all of that work that we have done so far you can just like carry on so yeah this is how you can use Klein absolutely for free but my honest personal opinion if you can afford to pay 20 dollars to cursor i highly highly recommend doing that because klein is amazing it's great but still cursor is just like amazing 10 times better than klein cursor in terms of functionalities in terms of like agentic functionalities cursor is far ahead than klein but if you are already a programmer if you know how to write code if you can understand code then you can actually like do a really good job with klein as well but if you have absolutely no idea about coding if you're just like completely relying on ai code editors to write code for you so then i think you should use cursor you can just like spend 20 dollars but cursor can actually do all of that for you but still if you are looking for a free alternative so there you go you can actually use client with open router and use it for absolutely for free please do share your thoughts in comment section i see you next video bye bye